all can meet up with time so that they can get a little rest and then come back from the reception. Now, so uh, I want to do something briefly. Listen quite to everybody, please. I want to see how we can remove witchcraft from marriage. Um, many marriages are characterized by the witchcraft structure, but many husbands and wives do not even have a clue that they are practicing witchcraft inside their marriages. So what I'll do briefly is to give you the structure of witchcraft. Don't mind, it's a, it's a wedding day, don't mind. You will get it clear soon. Give you the structure of witchcraft, tell you the two sides to witchcraft, and how it's manifested in many marriages without the knowledge of the husband and the wife. And then give you a little piece of the purpose of marriage. Most times from what we read in that um, booklet just now, it seems like marriage is for procreation, it's like marriage is for procreation, marriage is for companionship, marriage is for compatibility. We hear all those English, but listen to me, marriage is far, far beyond that. Marriage is established on the grounds of the revelation of who God is. Please, what did I say marriage is? Established on the grounds of the revelation of who God is. Let's do it together, let's do it together. Can, can we say it is a marriage? Is it the order, it the order of, the of the revelation of who God is, God is. manifest Master. in Christ Jesus? Christ Jesus. So we're going to look at that eternal plan briefly and then look at this witchcraft. Ah, look at it. There are four structures of witchcraft. There's a supernatural witchcraft dimension and there is a kind of witchcraft that takes place down here. And many Christians are not even aware of it. We're always thinking about the old court thinking about the metaphysical, thinking about the one they have to go into the realm of the spirit. The science is what they call the, the realm of the spirit to operate in, in what they call Mahantas, operating on the Ekanka and Krishna. Listen, that is in the supernatural side. Most times we tell ourselves we're not part of that because we just think we don't go to that realm to do anything evil. But we do not know that within our realm here, by the flesh, in Galatians chapter 5, if you read from verse 19, when Bible was giving us the list of what the works of the flesh were, the scripture made it clear that one of the works of the flesh is called witchcraft. It's called what, please? Witchcraft. Talk to me, Christians. It's called what, please? Witchcraft. It's called witchcraft. What is this form of witchcraft? Look at it. It has four structures. One is called intimidation. It's called what? And then the final the top of the end. Say intimidation. Intimidation. Say domination. Domination. Say control. Control. And fourthly, say manipulation. Manipulation. These are the four structures of witchcraft. And most times it's happening in marriages of Christians, but they are not aware. You know why? Because they've not captured or caught the revelation of the love of Christ to establish authority in the home. The husband thinks that he is the authority or the head of the home. And he begins to exercise authority in a perverted manner, in a corrupted way, which is called intimidation. Which is called what? Intimidation. Authority is established in scripture for the fulfilling of God's eternal plan and purpose. Submission is also established in scripture for the fulfillment of God's eternal plan and purpose. But when you don't understand what authority is, when you think authority means subduing the will of your wife, you think submission means a way to manipulate your husband to get some stuff from him that he wouldn't want to give to you if you ask him sincerely and honestly, you shift from authority, shift from submission into witchcraft. Now, watch it. The part of witchcraft structure that the husband carries out in the home front, thinking he's exercising authority, in those four I listed, the two of them is called intimidation and control. If this is the man, is the head of the home. So sometimes he's bullying the wife emotionally, but he's just thinking of the man. Sometimes we have what we call Christian husbands who are actually African traditional practitioners. You are right, sir. Right on. Listen. Every woman needs her man to hold her hand. 
from Texas. And Tel Hazard. 